And now the tides have changed. I'm no longer hunting. I am the hunted. And I am ready for any challenger, any opponent, anybody in that CCW locker room that wants a piece of this belt, they can come and try to get it. But I promise you I will be a fighting champion and I will defend that belt with everything I have, every opportunity I get. Trying to go for the rocker dropper and he got it! No one has ever kicked out of the rocker dropper. Going for the pinfall wasn't enough to put away the Alaskan superstar. And it was not! Unbelievable, the first man to ever kick out of the rock and drop is Cody Knight. It did damage, but trying to do the Kodiak slam, but can't get it in because of that damage paying dividends for Chris Turner. Wait a minute, what's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, oh the rock Cody and drop. with the rock and drop. Going for the pinfall. Can he get it? Uses it all move. He's got it. He got it. it. Cody Knight won by using the rock and drop. Chris Turner's on finisher on Chris Turner. I'm Steve Dalton, this is Jimmy Rosendorf, and walk us through this week's episode. We have another big episode looking back at Wrestle Bash 31, one of the biggest nights in CCW history. Later tonight in the main event, we will see Odin Davenport go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Cantrell in a match between two fan favorites, but up first, we have the Sicilian Cowboy Joe Fernari, hoping to keep his winning ways going. And the Sicilian Cowboy just soaking in, the fans love him. No one has anything bad to say about the rookie of CCW, the Sicilian Cowboy, Joe Fanon. Hey, but what a unit the executioner is. I mean, great physique, definitely looks athletic here ringside. Excited to see what he brings to the table tonight. Well, Joe's at a bit of a disadvantage because, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't seen any tape. Whoa, no! Well, I think we know what the, what's, or what's under the mask, and that's a cheat. The bell, hasn't, bell hasn't rung yet, Donnie. Both men got to be separated well, here. Well, still, still that tactic is frowned upon, at least I do here. No official start to this contest yet. No. Just laying in the damage there. Waiting for the waiting for the ref to give us a signal to make get this match underway. And the signal to start this competition has, has begun. Joe Fernari in a bit of control here. The fans definitely behind him here in Jacksonville, Florida. Up against the up against the ropes. Oh, he's going for it already tonight. Adam Cowboy. Beautiful there. This could end it early. Point him to the middle of the ring. Going to go for the pin quick here. Oh, and just one hand. And he got Unreal. it. Unreal. Impressive victory there, Donnie, from the Sicilian Cowboy, Joe Fernari. Still undefeated here in Continental Championship Wrestling. I said it before, and I am a man of my word. The Diamond Exchange always has a plan. I said it before Wrestle Bash that we would make a statement, and we did more than just that. We came home with some gold, and rest assured, there's going to be more. But let's go ahead and hear from your Southern States champion. Blitzy, first I want to say reunited and it feels so good. I've missed you, man. Oh. And you, you came in right at the right moment. Now let me explain something. I, I'm really not understanding what's the big deal. I've been the champion since January, but you know what? It seems at WrestleBash, that's when they finally decided to recognize my greatness, which is why I'm wearing this shirt. And I know what you're thinking. I bought this shirt. I paid for this shirt. 
for some reason you think I've been doing things I shouldn't be doing, but there's nothing I hate more than a thief. So what did I do? I walked into WrestleBash. I walked out with the champion. I got the legitimate one, two, three, not once, but two times. And there we see fan favorite Joe Fenari with another impressive victory. What else can we see from him in the future? I see big things in the future for Joe Fernari if he continues to beat his opponents the way he has been, but somebody else who made an impact at WrestleBash 31 was the violent gentleman Miles Blackwell. Been claiming since January to be the Southern States champion. Now he made it official with the little help of an old friend in Brian Blitz. It looks like the Diamond Exchange has been rebuilding, and what does that mean for the future here in CCW? But one thing we know is that we have a great main event lined up from WrestleBash 31, a battle between two fan favorites as Odin Davenport squares off against Kevin Cantrell. Awaiting the bell here. And here we go. Kevin Cantrell versus Odin Davenport. Both men now just circling the ring, I guess just trying to fill each other out. And I get, you gotta think, man, the advantage goes to Kevin Cantrell, the ring veteran here. Held a lot of gold here in CCW. I will say I agree there. Uh, very excited for this competition uh, as both men lock up here on the, against the ropes. Lock up here, matching the strength. I think Kevin Cantrell has a slight strength advantage, showing it right there, breaking the action there. Kevin Cantrell looking a, a bit angry at the moment. Well, I mean, the man has a lot of the man has a lot of moment or has a lot of experience, but that hasn't worked well in the ring since his re debut. Locking up the wrist here, Odin Davenport. Kevin Cottrell down on one knee. Just wrenching that left arm of Kevin Cottrell. No! Kevin Cottrell now taking over. And Richard Odin Davenport, like, hey man, how's it feel? Definitely putting a lot of pressure on that left arm. Odin Davenport face to the canvas here. Kevin Cantrell looking very determined early on tonight. Going Shoulders down on the mat. And a one, maybe a one and a half there. And you just see the ring brilliance of Kevin Cantrell just using his weight advantage to keep him, or well, almost kept him on the ground. That quickness of Odin giving out, and now he's in control. And just reaching that left knee into the left shoulder of Kevin Cantrell. Beautiful move there. Definitely inflicting a lot of pain there. Odin Davenport mocking Kevin Cantrell in front of his fans. Cantrell back again. Kevin Cantrell shaking off the pain there. Both men just looking for another lockup. Kevin Cantrell says, come on, man, I'm ready. No, Odin, Odin's backing up. And that's actually smart strategy because Odin knows that he can't match Kevin Cantrell strength for strength as was just shown earlier there. Or he's going to try either way, though. Let's see what both men decide to do here. A bit of a struggle. Both men face to face here in the center of the ring. Scotty D on the call tonight. Beautiful. Odin Davenport shoulders down on the mat, it looks like. And a one count there. Beautiful, beautiful suplex there by Kevin Cantrell. Almost got the three count. Now into the headlock. Cantrell and looking for a bit of control. Odin Davenport punching away. Right hand to the back. Another shot there. Well, Odin's trying to use that speed to get out of that headlock. But oh! What Did athleticism you? there, Donnie. Going for a pinfall. And a one count there. They kicked there. out at one. Odin was able to lift him up, but it didn't do enough damage. And Odin just smiling like, yeah, man, I'm enjoying this. Let's keep going. Like you said earlier, not a lot of victories uh, in the recent memory of both of these gentlemen, but like we've always said, a lot of athleticism and great experience by both of these guys. Well, one of the men here is going to get a victory here tonight. Anyone's guess? And Kevin Cottrell just planting Owen Davenport down into the mat. Now, now working the heads, got it locked in, and great ring awareness by Cottrell trying to keep him from the ropes, but no, a reversal by Odin. Both and men using center of the ring here all night long. Looks like we're going to be in the center of the ring. Odin working once again the left arm of Contrell. Just trying to get him to tap, get him to submit, but Kevin powering, up in, powering him up into the ropes. Off to the other side. Nobody Beautiful. home there, Donnie. Beautiful athleticism by Kevin Contrell, but no one there to receive that kick. Working back on that left arm, wrenching away. Odin Davenport looking to tear him piece by piece, it looks like here. Odin's showing a bit more strategy here than Kevin Cottrell. Kevin Cottrell, I think, was just trying to rely on his brute strength, and a lot of it there is, but, you know, if Odin can, uh, get, can get that submission locked in, although, you know, it's not paying dividends, 
he could get control to tap. Both men separate. Oh, look at Oak now. Nobody home again, Donnie. Tried to hit him with that elbow. Kevin Control just stepped out the way. What a wily veteran move that was there. He knew the move was coming. He saw it. He smelt it. He got out of the way. Well, as many young wrestlers uh, in, in wrestling like to do, Odin trying to show off for this crowd, but, you know, um, that kind of cost him a little bit. Matter of costing the match. Uh-oh, this could get ugly here. Oh, oh! That hit him so hard it knocked his grandma out of the rocking chair. Kevin Cantrell taunting the crowd here. Definitely not in the best mood tonight, and Odin Davenport is feeling that across the chest here. Looking for another chop here, Donnie. Oh, and he got it. That, oh, but a reversal, and Odin's right here. Let's see how you like it. Odin Davenport, left hand after left hand. Going oh, for oh, oh, some sort of reversal. Odin Davenport back up against the canvas in a lot of pain. This crowd saying that Kentrell sucks. I guess we know who they're behind here. Hey, they're giving hey. it right back to him, Donnie. Hey. Right foot to the face of Odin Davenport. Just a blatant show of disrespect for his opponent. Uh, perfectly legal move, but it is somewhat frowned upon. Back to their feet. Control and control. Beautiful uppercut. But Odin is still on his feet. Somehow, Donnie, barely alive in the corner there. Using that turnbuckle for support. And a miss by control. No one home. Left hand from Davenport, a chop. Another left hand there. A reversal by Contrell. Odin into the, into the turnbuckle once again. Flips him over and down on the mat. Contrell going to one knee to take a rest, but this is when he needs to capitalize. Odin is on the mat. Odin is defenseless. A well-needed rest at that, Donnie. But this is why he is a veteran of this business. He knows exactly what he's doing and what he's getting himself into. Well, there, this is a 20-minute time limit. Plenty of time left in this matchup. And a boot to the back of the head. Disgusting display by the... And another one. Is that even a legal move? Absolute vile. Vile tendencies here from Kevin Cantrell. As Odin Davenport tries to work himself back to his feet. As he does there, Donnie. Up into the ropes. Off to the side. A reversal by Cantrell. No, on his hands again. And it connects that time. What an elbow from Odin Davenport as he jumps back to his feet. And just listen at this crowd here at Eagle View Christian Academy. Off the Absolute carnage here ringside. Odin Davenport. The crowd absolutely behind him here. Odin wants to get Kevin back in the ring. Doesn't want to get a double count out. Scotty D was to the count of three there. Not, a, not much of a worry for a count out. Odin not too pleased with the tactics of Kentrell. Both men talking it out here in the center of the ring. We'll see what's next here. Another lockup. Once again, Kentrell, you know, just once more just showing that power advantage he has over Davenport. Vicious uh, forearm of some sort across the back there. Looking for another chop maybe. And there it goes. A right hand from Davenport. Another right hand. Odin off to the side. Misses with the clothesline. Spinning him around. Lets him right in the middle of this the ring. This could be it here. And, and a kick, kick out. A kick out at 2.5 if I had to say. Wow. Frustration is setting in on Kevin Cottrell's face. He's like, man, uh, that should have done it. That should have ended it. No quit at all inside. Odin Davenport, really no quit at all inside of these two men that we have in the ring. What a great way to start this competition off tonight. Control going to try to go for the go for the kill again. Davenport powered out, trying to pick him up, and does just that, dropping him down on that knee, dropping him down on the mat. This could be it. It could be over. Oh, he's got no. Cantrell rolling away here. No, he did Save roll away that time. time. A I kick out at 2.9. Now frustration sitting in on Odin Davenport. Cantrell. Well, he could do it all day until he saw that left boot from Odin Davenport. And now he's looking at the ceiling here with his back against the canvas. This Odin. could be the moment for Odin Davenport, Donnie. Davenport, or Davenport wants to please this crowd and the crowd saying we want you to go up top. He's looking to fly, Donnie. Here he goes. Oh, he's he's gonna gonna go. This has got to be it, Donnie. This is all over. Contest.
a great show of sportsmanship by Kevin Cottrell. Frustration, but he's like, I'm still going to be a big man. And just welcome this young man into the... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. No, no, no. No! no! An absolute turn of the tables there. It looks like Cantrell has just turned heel. Turned on all the fans here in CCW. Turned his back on Odin Davenport. And this man is on a mission, it looks like He's coming here. over here. What's he want over here? There you heard it. Kevin Cantrell come over here ringside and uh, just told the CCW fans that his goal is to cash checks and break necks. Well, he can catch a check, but it'll be at the loser's pay window because the winner of this contest is Odin Davenport. Odin Davenport chasing him backstage here as we end the first competition. And here we saw another great, impressive yeah. victory from Odin Davenport, a true fan favorite, um, but with a sour twist at the end. Yeah, a great match as always, as we always see out of Odin Davenport and Kevin Cantrell. But unfortunately, I think uh, Kevin Cantrell snapped a little bit there, turned his back on Odin Davenport, and honestly, we see a side of Kevin Cantrell that we have not seen before. Definitely new. But that's all the time we have for this week's edition of CCW Surge. Join us next week as we continue our coverage of Wrestle Batch 31 with the return of former CCW champion of the Diamond Exchange, Daniel Anderson, as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the authentic one, Brian Adam. I'm Jimmy Rosendorf. For Director of Operations, Steve Dalton. We'll see you next week.